Have a nice day, everyone. In this video, I will continue to explain the jet engine propulsion theory. You remember that the turbojet engines, the first patent by Sir Frank Whittle, as we spoke before, had an ampler compressor, compressor, annual combust, annual combustor, and single stage turbine. This is the main components which have go to Frank Quittel. After that, many improvements for this component. The turbojets, it's propulsive power from reaction of the flow hot gases. The compressor increases the pressure of the air entering the inlet. Fuel is added, fuel added through fuel nozzles to the compressed air in the combustor. The combustor, there is igniter plugs, igniter plugs, and the expansion created by the heat of combustion rotates the, rotates the turbine wheel. The turbine drives the compressor. The remaining energy downstream of the turbine accelerates into the atmosphere and creates thrust. This is through the nozzles, the exhaust nozzle. Basic component of jet engine, axial flow design. Look here. This is the stage of compressor. And this is one stage of turbine. This is Mr. Frank here one stage turbine okay this is one spool one spool means one shaft one compressor and one turbine if the turbine two stage three stage here the compressor some stage here okay the second if two spools here, two spools mean two shafts here, two shafts. The first one, which we called it N1, is the blue color. The N2 is the red color. By the way, here N1, if you want to write one here as index, click here and go to here, Vx here, x below and x upper. If you here, this is power. If here, this is index. This is N1 and N2. So the fan and the compressor, this is N1 here and the turbine. The red is the N2. Okay, here the fan, two, two parts of air here, some go to the, here, the fan outside of the core, and some of it go to the core. The ratio here, called the bypass ratio bypass ratio of a turbofan engine is the ratio between the mass flow rate 
of the bypass steam to the mass floor rate entering the core. So the core and the bypass nozzle. Okay, this is the fan here. We go, I want to speak about the compressor ratio, compressor pressure ratio. Here, the stage is here, the pressure at this point, P3, and the pressure here, B2. If you divide P3 over P2, you go to the compressor pressure ratio. This is three spools such as Rolls Royce engines. Here, N1, the blue color here, the fan. N2, the green here, the compressor. N3, the red here. We call this intermediate. This is the intermediate. And this is N3. Okay, three spools. Every compressor and turbine contains, this is rotor, rotors, blades, and this is stator, stator van. Here also, here is the rotor and the white, and white color is the stator, okay? Compressor pressure ratio equal PT3 over PT2 means total pressure and total pressure here. We go to the physics of the gas turbine engine. I will begin with the units which we go to in the calculation after that. For distance, one mile equal 1,760 yards. The one yard equal three feet. The one feet equal 12 inches. In French or standard, one kilometer equal 1,000 meter. One meter equal 100 centimeter. One, hundred cent one centimeter equal 10 millimeter. For this is the distance here, or the length. Here, a table. The mass, and this is the symbol, M small or M capital. And this is the French or standard kilogram. And this is British slug. Okay. Here, in the length, L meter in the French and foot in the English. Time, this is a symbol, small t or capital T, and this is in seconds, the same in the British or standard. Temperature, T, we make <laughs> Someone confused about this and this, so take care. And also the pressure and power, P and P. Here is Kelvin or rank. Here the temperature here, Kelvin, centigrade, and this is Fahrenheit. Zero here equal 32 Fahrenheit and here is 273. So this is for the temperature. Other table here, force F capital. This is 
نيوتن كيلوغرام متر بيرس سكند سكوير and this is in English leper foot pound force acceleration is small meter per second square or feet per second square pressure p small or p capital newton per meter square here and here left feet bare feet foot square the energy here we spoke about that after that so the fundamentals here the formulas such as force work acceleration thrust which we want or we will concentrate about thrust for example here The weight is one directional toward the center of the Earth. So the gravity to the center of the Earth. Here density is the amount of material per unit volume. Pressure is omnidirection force of motion per unit area. Unit area means inch foot centimeter so and so this is in all direction here temperature is the molecular energy of motion due to heat so the heat increase the temperature the degree temperature force is especially to do work capacity to do work or the tendency to produce work so the force equal pressure multiply area here force equal pressure multiply area here force in pounds pressure psi pressure per square inch area and square inch example at standard day condition the weight of air is here means the density per cubic feet and an engines with compressor pressure ratio 30 to 1 so the weight of air per cubic foot will be 30 times or 30 multiply this figure okay okay another example here the pressure across the exhaust nozzle is 6 psi above ambient okay and the opening of the exhaust nozzle area 300 square inch so what is the force present in pounds here is the law of the area the area equal by r square r means the radius so this is the nozzle the exhaust nozzle area so here force equal pressure multiply area 6 multiply 300 so this is the force the work the work equal force multiply distance here this is a mass or object and this is force make the distance here this is the first position and this is the last position so measure this distance and multiply the force by distance so the work equal force by distance okay
the horse power. The horse power is an imperial unit of power equal 550 foot pounds per second, about 750 watt. The power of the energy measured in terms of horsepower. The velocity. The velocity means you divide the distance over time. So the velocity equal distance over time here. Distance over time. Okay. Distance foot t in second time seconds. If you go to example here, gas flow through a gas turbine engine till pipe a distance five feet. M this time. What is the velocity? So the velocity equal this distance over this time here. So the velocity will give this figure here. Okay. The acceleration. The acceleration equal the variable of velocity over or divided by the time. Okay. So the acceleration here, this is V2 equal uh, minus v1 so this is the v1 is the beginning velocity and this is the last velocity the end velocity so this is the beginning and this is the last and this is the time okay we postponed this uh, energy in the second video to save time of you and I think this is enough today please I am waiting your comments and your suggestion thank you very much and good